Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Welcome to day 1,840 of What You Up To Now, documenting the journey originally as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And then in 2020, I decided I needed to tip my toes and my fingers in both the offline and the online world in order to be a better coach and mentor, mastermind leader, etc., for the people that I was helping to grow and build and supersize their business. So every day I create a couple of pieces of content because it's fun for me and it keeps me moving. Started doing it prior to the pandemic, but especially during the pandemic when I needed to keep moving forward and I wanted to keep moving forward. Even though we were locked down and shut down, I wasn't going to just sit still and lay down and take it anymore, right? So uh, I started creating different pieces of content. I've done the annual challenge now for, this is our sixth year in a row, where every day I show up live and we talk about a topic, sometimes briefly, sometimes not so briefly. I'm getting better at being brief as, as I practice more, saying, and then giving an, you know, just introducing a concept, giving an action item, and then moving on. So that it is something that anybody can do. Hey, we're going to talk about the emotional guidance system today. How do we use that? And I gave an example of how I've used it in the past. And then today as we go about our day, we're going to find and notice an emotion that we're feeling that we don't necessarily love. And we're going to reach for something that makes us feel better and then share that in the comments below so that we can practice using the emotional guidance system. If you don't know what that is, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, Google it. And it's actually the emotional guidance scale. But you can see, I call it system all the time. I use system and scale interchangeably. Because to me, it's a system and a tool that I can use to always be feeling better and becoming a better version of myself. So our idiom for today to kind of correspond with that in the annual challenge for Supersize Your Business was don't let your emotions get the best of you. So we talked about handling stressful situations and I shared a couple of stressful situations I've been involved in and how I handled them and how losing our cool in a personal situation, and I didn't talk about this, but I probably should have, how I didn't win the argument when I lost my cool and started yelling at my ex-husband. Ended up just agreeing to disagree, but not agreeing to disagree. Of course, our relationship ended up in crashed and burned, so obviously my yelling didn't have any positive impact on that situation. Yet, then I shared an example at work about how I did keep the cool. I followed eight steps that I shared in that video to deal with the emergency, the situation. And then I got to go home and I think I went home and I went to the uh, went to one of our favorite clubs after work with a couple of my coworkers and we just unwound because it was one of those situations where you needed to unwind after it. Uh, but that's it, that's what I'm working on today. Today is my one of my granddaughter's birthdays, so I'm super excited about that. She's turning two today, which is very fun. She is such an incredible little human and I get to spend a lot of time with her, so it's helping to keep me a little bit younger than I feel some days. Uh, and my daughter, her mom, is due to have her sister any day now. She's actually due on the exact same day that my second granddaughter was due. So who knows, maybe we'll have a baby today. I don't know. We won't, but she will. Anyway, if I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.